Hello and welcome to another Beast PC video. If you're interested in overclocking your memory, you've probably heard about Samsung BDI before. These RAM sticks are generally easy overclockers that set many overclocking records. Yet it is difficult to tell if the sticks you're buying use BDI ICs, and if you can tell, usually they're really expensive. Basically, any well-known BDI found using a BDI finder is super overpriced. So today we'll teach you guys how to find BDI and get a good price while doing so. If you're here to watch this video, we probably don't need to convince you to buy BDI or to not buy BDI. This video is only about giving tips. Also, all of the tips in this video are trends that we and other channels linked below have noticed, so your results may vary and please do your own research as we cannot guarantee that all kits we mentioned here are going to be real BDI. Also, keep in mind that not all BDI clocks the same and some kits might be better at overclocking than others. Let's get into the tips. First, check this BDI finder page online for a decent idea of what to look out for. One important idea is to buy used. Used RAM is perfectly safe, in fact probably the safest thing you can buy used in a PC. Looking up BDI or putting the model number of the RAM you found in BDI Finder into eBay can sometimes give you some really well-priced kits. Although most of the time, sellers are just going to put a huge premium on them since they know their BDI as well. Ideally, you want to buy RAM from somebody that doesn't know the value of what they have. How do you do this? One super special way to do this is to look for Corsair Vengeance LPX sticks. On the label, you can see a revision number. The number to look for is V4.32, which we can pretty much guarantee is BDI. V4.31 works as well, however, avoid V3.31. It's not difficult to find these on eBay as they seem to pop up every other day, but you might have to spend a bit of time bidding. However, they're not super sought after and so the prices are okay. This label is visible without opening the package, which is super helpful if you're buying inside a store. Now, we don't endorse it, but you could hypothetically also abuse the return policy of certain online retailers, but again, we don't endorse this. The best option for buying online this way is to buy used, so you can check the revision number in the pictures provided by the seller. A Beast PC colleague successfully bought a 16GB kit for $80 this way. Looking up generic kits on eBay or retailer of choice and comparing with the BDI Finder can also be pretty helpful. However, do know that this list does not cover all kits, so you might find one that's not on the list. A Beast PC colleague once bought 3000 MHz C15 G Skill kits, but they had an unusual model number that weren't on the BDI Finder list. Yet, it turned out to be BDI kits. The best way to confirm is to consult the seller for a screenshot or to try using that BDI Finder list. To check if your RAM is BDI, you need to download a handy tool called Typhoon Burner that'll read your memory sticks. If the seller advertises the RAM as BDI, you can ask them to provide a Typhoon Burner screenshot. Due to the nature of the silicon lottery though, not all BDI kits perform the same. On my 3600 MHz Corsair kit, the best timings I was able to get was 17212134 at 3733 MHz on Intel Z390, which is not a particularly tight latency. Some more general rules of thumb. 3200C14 and 3600C16 are generally BDI kits, but they can be a little more expensive because this is a pretty common thing to look out for. Second, you can look at the TRCD and TRP, the middle two numbers in a string of four latencies. On 3600 MHz, if it's CL17 or below, there's a good chance it's BDI. 
If these two timings are similar or identical to the cast latency, and the cast latency is decent, it's very likely as well. A quick and dirty rule to kind of take a guess with any frequency is to divide the frequency by the cast latency or one of the other two latencies. If the number you get is over 200, for example 3200 over 14 equals around 228, it should probably be B dot. You want the number here to be higher, not lower. One thing to keep in mind, avoid crucial sticks at all costs. Even though sometimes the timings fit the description of great timings and high frequency, they are owned by Micron and chances are you'll just get a top bin Micron eDie kit. As with all PC parts hunting though, the number one best way to find a good deal is to be patient and quick thinking. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please leave a like and please consider subscribing. See you next time.